What's happening everyone, Nate the Great here. Welcome to a game I played way back in the day. And I decided to do it today because, you know, uh, it wasn't very good on the editing side of things. Plus I've upped the graphics more and I put it full screen, so... I'm gonna play through a few of the endings, and hopefully this will go really well. Um, I'll play through the endings that I know how to do, the ones that are appealing, not the boring ones. And I'll do my best to give that out in uh, a sheer 20 minutes, maybe. So, after the loading screen, we'll get started. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alrighty. So, here we are. Sensitivity's a little lower, All but I'll do it. the workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So, we'll go this way this time. <coughs> Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, <laughs> thanks for pushing me. Stanley <clears throat> stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I really don't feel like waiting, so we're gonna go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I want to go down. Oh well. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss what? had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah, Amazing. Because he just told He me. stepped into the newly opened passageway. I guess we're going down.
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Did he? He did. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the <clears throat> number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. No. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's Pirate. control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Don't ask me. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yes. Ooh, shiny red button. Oh, I can't click that. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way 
right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yeah! Okay, so that was the actual how to do everything right. <laughs> now we're going to do everything wrong. That's the that's what we're trying to do here. We're just going to do everything wrong. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Damn. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace that's of his sound. co-workers. What's that sound? Oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. We're going to do everything wrong. <laughs> Starting with this. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? <laughs> yes. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? <laughs> okay, I'm a good man. What do you think? Are you sick of oh. this gag yet? No, no. No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly oh. different? Oh. Would no. I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Yeah. Oh, now, think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. <laughs> so, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really mis- Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. We all know where that goes. If you sit there for like 10 minutes, he'll play guitar for you. So, anyway. Let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait, wait a second. No. No, 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 this isn't right. This is not right. This is not here before. I hate when it does this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in, eh? I don't know why I did that accent. But anyway. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yes, I did. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope! I'm going down! I don't know what that was. <laughs> Alrighty. This is my favorite ending, that's why I'm doing it. And it's really off track, so I figured it'd be a good idea. Um, if you do it the other way, the, uh, if you take the other lift, that one's a little messed but up. Stanley didn't want All to right. go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yep. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, yeah. From here, it's where? Um, left. Oh, right. Oh huh. no, no, it's to Excuse the right. Excuse me. Mistake. Oh God. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? I don't know. What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you yeah. hold on for a minute? Oh my gosh! Come on! Make up your mind. Let's see, we went down right, left. Down, left, right, 
Yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. Huh? I've yeah. got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Uh oh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. What am I seeing? Be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Stand your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to. Just kidding. I'm not gonna get close my eyes. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. A story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From the top. All right. Mm. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh. Oh. When what? Stanley? Wait. Wait. What? No. I'm no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story oh. somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <clears throat> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Yay! Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I like it. Mm. Here we go. This is where I want to go. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think so. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? <laughs> Are you well, I find me? it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> All right, Mr. Storyteller, do your thing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, nice. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Um, it wasn't back this way, just saying. Oh, somebody spilled coffee. What's that? Duh. Beep. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, nice. Nice job. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. <laughs> I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Gosh, dang. Every time. Alrighty, this time we are going to find the story. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? 
You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? <gasps> Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured whoa. into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> the music go back and look at that fern Stanley this fern will be very important later in the story make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully you won't want to miss anything okay <laughs> whatever you say wait but we're back at the office no no, 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 Line, no, no, you do no. know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? No. The story? No, no, Is no. any of this ringing a bell? It's ringing a bell, all right. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I remember no. this. Again, Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, the story. You, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, so stupid. Okay. Hey, it's back. This is going to be a disaster. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Yeah. We're intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Yeah. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Where? Oh, okay. Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could oh, be anything. Oh, gosh. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, oh my no, gosh. not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I mean, oh, there it goes. Goodbye. Yeah. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. What the? Okay, oh. so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, yes. then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Yes. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Eight? Duh. That's really how all this goes? Stanley dies. It's all oh my determined. God. So now, according to the Get schedule, how oh. do we start again? I need and to find a bookstore. I was just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Wonder the blank. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? 
Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer it stopped. Does oh, that gosh. mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Okay, I need to do what that stuff said. I don't think I've ever done that, if it's possible, because I remember I just never really did that. But the, uh, the A3 start. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know if it's possible, though. I don't think it is. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting. I don't think it is. Okay. Stanley knew it anyway. perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee <laughs> lounge first, just to admire it. All right, we're gonna do one more. Wow. Ending. Yes, this room. Okay. But goodbye. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I want to go straight. As well. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. <laughs> I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about not... What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah. What? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yep. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yes. Work with me. You give yes. me absolutely nothing so far. I can't tell. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now... Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I give it a salt three. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion? Three you know? options? Three doors? Any level of huh? critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, let's go. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. 
I'll bump it up to four. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, <coughs> and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Yeah. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Yay. All right. Oh. In this game, the baby crawls left towards what? danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, because of you, do, of course. Out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your <coughs> input was extremely valuable. Oh. oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Finally, a decent game. Oh, roasted. <laughs> oh, I just spit on them. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yes. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? <gasps> well, I'll Will say it? this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes. It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Looks like uh, dirt! Uh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Dirt! Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Uh. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Thank you. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. <laughs> okay, new game. Uh-oh. I forgot what comes after this. I really don't know. What do you got in store for me now, buddy? Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, <laughs> trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Bringing this with me. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. I love critical thinking. Genius. Sorry.
No, actually, you know what? I think that's what? plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any- Oh, gee. Whoa, gosh. Oh. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Oh! Oh my gosh. This is pretty far out there. This is a very deteriorated office. Oh, light! That's good. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Alright. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. I'll the end be will back. be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Well, that's all the time I got. I gotta get on to another video, so... All right. Uh, that was that was a good 30 minutes right there. Anyway, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, revisit of Stanley Parable. Um, probably won't be continuing it, but if I do, I'll let you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.